WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this 13th, Thursday, the 13th of June, almost halfway through the month. God, quickly, what a quick month it's been. All right, so the Dow is down just a little, down 233. Well, wow, isn't that amazing? S&P is up five, and yes, the Dow again. And we've been in the sell mode since the turnaround. The sell signal was given on the 20th of May, right at the top at 40,077. Um, this big arching over, and I never thought that the bifurcated market would be quite as uh, decisive with, you know, the IWM and the uh, Dow being very weak, and you've got this huge move up in the semiconductors and the Qs. All right, here we go. S&P, S&P right now is trading at this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update, up 8, 54.29. I'm anticipating we've got a little peak C right here, and then we maybe get a leg D on um, Friday or Monday, early next week. And then I think we've got to be a little careful uh, because many of the signals then actually start to give quite overboard signals. But as long as that nine period moving average is strong and that 14 period moving, sorry, and the stochastic is over 90 at 95% like the Qs are, that's a good sign. Leg D up at 387 at 478. You've got the IWM, the Russell 2000, which took a dive from the open big gap up yesterday and now it's turned down again back into the down channel it's down 170 at 202 didn't get sucked in there just i was a little surprised that it held so well but let's go to gold gold now is down 25 dollars this is you know the nine period moving average turned negative about two and a half weeks ago since then gold's had a struggle to really hold gains it's at 230 2329 the dollar funnily enough is um up a little had a big Roman candle yesterday. We'll see what happens up 10 ticks at 104.81. Let's go to crude oil because crude oil has been doing quite nicely. It's holding up 7 cents at 78.57. Uh, today, the nine period moving average, the day is young. It's still got to wait until 4 o'clock, but it did turn positive. So we'll see if that's going to hold. But bonds, that's the thing that has to hold. Bonds are up 6.30 seconds. I would anticipate that it could break this weekly downtrend line, and it hasn't done that yet. It keeps testing. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour of Basil Chapman, waiting to get back here so we can go through all these different charts. See you in a few moments. Check out my opening call, Daily Newsletter.